Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna need you guys to say a little prayer for me because we are gonna put my eyes through it today. So we're doing not one, not two, not even three, but five looks using five different palettes from ColourPop. That all launched this month, yep. That's how ColourPop does. So in those five palettes, we are also going to be talking about the holiday collection, which was one that I was so excited for because this is the Good As Gold eyeshadow palette. And this is what it looks like in the inside right here. So it's beautiful gold right here, has this beautiful gold butterfly here. And if you guys know anything about me, you guys would know that not only do I love butterflies, I also love gold and it's both in one. Like how much better does that get? So what's crazy though is that I'm not a really big fan of gold eyeshadows, but this gold eyeshadow palette is absolutely stunning. A lot of people are saying that this kind of looks like the Too Faced or looks like the Urban Decay Honey eyeshadow palette, which I didn't get that palette. I do want it, it is on my wish list. I might get it for my birthday. It's just one of those palettes that I felt like there was so many other things coming out that I really had to pick and choose what um, what items I really wanted. So before that one came out though, ColourPop did come out with another palette, also butterfly themed. All of these palettes are butterfly themed. If you guys um, didn't notice my little necklace here, it is these beautiful butterflies that my husband got me for my anniversary. And I love it so much. It's really cute and dainty. Um, and you know, it has an even more special place in my heart because he got this for me. They first came out with this eyeshadow palette, which is the Flutter By um, palette. So another thing about me, not only do I love gold, I also love purple. And this one is a purple eyeshadow palette. And um, this is what it looks like on the inside right here. It has these beautiful butterflies here. And I just love the details in this eyeshadow palette. Um, it has like glitter all throughout it and it's just so cute like they really did an amazing job with this palette but anyways this is more of like their cool toned like purpley palette so I was like I don't care for the colors as much as I just want it because it's purple and it's butterflies so these two are available on Colourpop's website this is actually their holiday collection which I'm surprised that they didn't come out with like part two of their holiday collection because they usually do that and if you know anything about ColourPop too they tend to do things that are very that aren't typical for their holiday collections last year was chasing rainbows the year before that I forgot what it was but they always tend to do stuff that's not usually like your typical holiday but this actually is pretty holiday you know like it's not Christmas but it is like the gold the sequins everything glitz and glam which is what People tend to wear a lot during this time of year then we have three other eyeshadow palettes as well part of their butterfly collection but these three are exclusive to Ulta only they are in stores and online and um, I think all the palettes retail for $18 so the first one is a pink one this is the gimme butterflies um, I don't care for the color pink a color that I would wear but when it comes to eyeshadows I've told you guys that I do like pink a lot. So this one is a little bit more simplistic. Um, it still has the glitter and stuff like that, but the palette, the packaging is not as like detailed and maybe it's because they came out with three. And another thing too that I noticed, again, these are just little things that I noticed that you guys probably don't even care about. You guys are probably like, Michelle, just freaking get on with it. With their Ulta palettes, they always tend to have like these circles around their eyeshadows. While with the ones on their website, um usually don't and they usually always have like that metallic base while well, this one has the same color as the pa palette packaging itself and that is true just to show you guys again so that's usually um something that i've noticed it's very small with the past few eyeshadow palettes that have come out through ulta and then um we have another one which this one is a peach one so i know it looks similar to this one but when you hold them side by side you can tell the difference so this is give me butterflies give me butterflies and this one is a flutter this is what the inside of this one looks like this one is absolutely gorgeous so you can definitely tell the difference you have more of your peachy pinks in here and then the last one of course is a purple one 
This one is Butter Me Up. And um, this one has more purple and silvers. And then the inside, this is what it looks like. So you have your random like reddish pinky color here, some a silver, a silver here, and a white, a black, and a bunch of like purples. So it's a really pretty palette. Definitely um, something different from them, all of their palettes. I think there are some repeats. So if you guys already have a bunch of ColourPop palettes, if you guys already have a bunch of ColourPop palettes and aren't like me that just wants to collect them all, um, I would go through your um, collection and just kind of see if you already have the shades that are in these palettes before you purchase them. I will say in this one, I think it's only one shade that's re repeated. And I think in these as well, there's only like one or two that might be repeated. I am gonna be doing four different, five different looks that will be perfect for the holidays with five different eyeshadow palettes that they launched during their holiday time. I want to call this their holiday collection, the butterfly collection. That's what I feel like it is. Like it's not a coincidence that we came out with, they came out with five different palettes that are all butterfly themed. Anyways, I'm going to leave this one for last just in case you guys are wondering because it's the makeup that I'm going to use. Say a little prayer for me because I don't know how I'm going to get through all these eyeshadow palettes on my eyeballs, but we're gonna work with it. So anyways, we're gonna jump into the tutorial portion of it. I may or may not have a review afterwards, we'll see. But if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys do hit the red subscribe button down below, as well as the notification bell next to it, so that way you guys are notified when I post a new video. And give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoy these kind of videos, so I know what kind of videos to make for you guys in the future. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first palette we're starting off with is the Flutter By palette, which is the cool tone mauve purpley color. And we're going to start off with the color Made to Last, which I do believe this is permanent. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that into the um, crease as well as the outer V. And then to deepen that up, I'm going to take Mariposa and I'm going to take that on a smaller crease brush and apply that a little lower in the crease and the outer V to deepen things up a little bit. You guys already know this is how it always goes. Then we're going to take Angel BB. And I'm going to go ahead and use that kind of like on the outer wing like liner part. So it's almost like as if we're doing like a wing eyeliner but only in the outer corner. And then we're going to blend that in with a, a fluffy crease brush um, just so that way we don't have any harsh lines. And we're going to blend that into the crease. So we're going to create kind of like a, a V-like wing shape. Then I'm going to take Gotta Fly and I'm going to apply that. Um, a little bit closer towards the outer third of the eye um, and blend that into the Angel BB color. And I'm going to just blend everything together, make sure there's no harsh lines, that everything is flawless and seamless. And then after that, we're going to build up that color a little bit more just because I lost some of the intensity. So I want to make sure that it is nice and deep and beautiful. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of Getaway. And guys, I was surprised with how much I love this color. I did not expect myself to like this at all, but it is such a beautiful, like, taupey, purple, mauve goodness. And look at how metallic and shimmery this color is. I did not wet it. I just used a little tiny flat baby brush, and that's it. I'm taking a little bit of Lush, and I'm going to go ahead and apply that onto my brow bone to make sure everything's nice and blended. And then I'm taking a little bit of Unpacked. You don't have to do this if you are scared of using glitters on your eyes. But I'm just going to kind of take that where the shimmer and the matte kind of meet. Um, I think this is just a cool effect to this eye look. And I'm going to just make sure that the glitter blends in so that way it's not like a harsh line on the middle of my eye. And then I'm going to go ahead and take Float On, and I'm going to take that on a flat liner brush, and I'm going to apply that on my upper lash line as my eyeliner today. I decided I want to do something a little softer, and then we have our makeup on with the power of editing. You guys can see that beautiful glow. It is thanks to the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Loose um, Highlighter in the color Amped Up. Then I'm going to go ahead and take Angel BB again, and I'm going to go ahead and blend that out to my lower lash line and just so you guys know I always do this whatever color I use in my outer corner is what I use on my lower lash line to connect it then taking a little bit of just imagine and I'm gonna go ahead and put that into my inner corner sorry I had to sing that guys because I love trolls low-key not even gonna front and that song is one of my faves so anyways applying that into my inner corner there and then I'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara this is one of my favorite mascaras 
makes the lashes look beautiful. Then I'm taking some of the Ghost of Colors Cool It Lip Liquid Lipstick, and this is the finished look. I I'm obsessed with how this look came out. I did not think I was going to like it as much as I did, but I really, really love this one so much. I think it is actually one of my favorites, and usually the first one is not. Moving on to the second one, this is the Ulta Exclusive. We're going to go ahead and go into the Gimme Butterflies palette and taking Making Moves. I'm going to go ahead and apply that onto the outer V, and I decided as I was doing this, I wanted to really make like a nice wing, like elongated eye look. So I put a little bit of painter's tape because I couldn't find my regular tape. Um, it's nice because it doesn't like tug at the skin, but I will tell you that um, you'll see later on, it's a little hard to use or to work with because it likes to come off. Um, then I'm taking a little bit of Skipper and I'm gonna go ahead and use a flat brush. Um, I would prefer to use like an, a goat hair one or like something similar to that if you guys don't use um goat hair I don't really know what material that one was but just like something a little like fluffier versus synthetic um and then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out that um line so that way we don't have any harshness I'm sorry that I'm saying um so much I'm just trying to catch my breath and keep up with this tutorial so then I'm taking some of the color woke and I'm gonna go ahead and just blend everything together taking a little bit of blooming and I learned because of Tati's eyeshadows that these mattes with the little glitters that they like to call sequin formula, that you want to use that with your fingers so that way you can actually see the glitter apply onto the eye. And then I started taking Overpacked, which yes, that was the glitter from the last palette with the Huda Beauty Fender Bender, but it wasn't really working. So then I went in with your catch into my inner corner as I was contemplating how I was gonna do this. Um, you guys will see what I'm gonna do in a second. I'm gonna take it with my finger, which was making a hot mess. Um, what I'm trying to do is kind of apply it onto the outer V, almost like as if it's the outer corner color. And you guys can see I got glitter all over the place, so I had to use the sponge side of the Fender Blender to kind of blend that out, but it wasn't really working. I ended up using some of the painter's tape, which I forgot to show you guys, to get rid of that glitter that fell a little too low. And then I just ended up using the sponge, which actually worked really, really well, gave me more control, and it allowed the color to blend which is crazy because it wasn't budging on my face but anyways putting that also on my lower lash line too just making sure that it all connects and I should have applied a little bit more as I was doing this I was kind of just going with the flow to be honest then I'm taking a little bit of get lost and just applying that right on top just to add a little more dimension be very careful because these are a little bit of the chunkier glitter so you don't want to get it in your eyes and the way to remove this glitter is by using a little bit of tape I do not re recommend using the painter's tape though Using some um, scotch tape will work just fine. And then I'm taking some of that overpacked again and applying that into my inner corner. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the Gerard Cosmetics Share Lipstick and Lip Liner. And this is the finished look. I really like it. I kind of wish I would have put lashes on with this. Um, I just think it's kind of fun. You guys don't have to do the glitter at all if you want to. If you just want to use the smoky eye, you guys can do that alone. Um, so that is it for the second look. Moving on to the third look, we are using the A Flutter palette. Again, an Ulta exclusive. Using that flat brush that we used earlier. This is a great brush for packing on um, matte eyeshadows. I'm using the color called Swallowtail, which I was showing you guys the fallout that came out on this. This color is so pigmented and crazy. Then I'm taking OO or OOO and blending that out. This is a really vibrant, like orangey, peachy color. It's super neon in person, but on um, the video, for some reason, it was not looking as neon as it is. And I'm just buffing that into that. Um, shadow that we applied so that way we don't have any harsh lines I did start off a little backwards with this look I don't really know why but I just felt like it was going to be the best way to work with that color then I'm taking meteorite and satin wing mixing those two together to uh, make sure that everything is nice and blended and flawless as you guys can see we're really we're taking a larger brush now and then I'm taking a little bit of transcend and I'm going to use that on my brow bone and I like doing this trick because it also helps to make sure that if you bring any eyeshadow too high up that you blend that out really really nicely 
Then I'm taking a little bit of chauffeur and fly away. For some reason, it looks so dark in camera, but in person, it is not that way at all. I'm taking some of the ColourPop metallic eyeliner. I forget the color, but we're going to go ahead and kind of do like a graphic wing. So I'm not going to fill out the wing. So I went ahead and created the little triangle on the outside, and then I went ahead and filled in the inner part of my eye and connected it. And I tried using really short strokes so that way I had more control, and I didn't fill in that little triangle. I'm trying to go for like a graphic look. I feel like it would just be really cool using this lipstick from ColourPop and this is the finished look and I am going to show you guys too how it looks like if you do fill in the wing but this is what it looks like without it and this is what it looks like with it. I did have the clip of it but for some reason I didn't press record so I'm just showing you guys what it looks like. I like it either way. I think it's really fun, really pretty, very festive. So this is the third look. Moving on to the fourth look, we're going into the Butter Me Up which is the last palette from the Ulta exclusive and I'm gonna go with the color stay golden which I know is a permanent shade this was one of the first shades that ColourPop ever launched and I absolutely love it I'm gonna put that into my inner and outer corner if you haven't already guessed it we are doing a halo eye yes I thought about it I wasn't gonna do this at first but then I was like it wouldn't be a multiple looks video if I didn't do this then I'm taking Silk Street and just going to go ahead and deepen that up with this pointed tapered blending brush. And we're really going to press that in and then blend it out. That's just going to intensify the color and also make sure that you have control on where you're placing it. At first, I wanted to do just kind of like an inner and outer corner and not connect in the middle. But then I decided to change it. Just keep watching and you guys will see what I'm doing. So yeah, here is where I kind of decided, you know what? I'll just blend it in to each other. Then I'm taking a little bit of Reckless, which I think is also a permanent shade from them. And I'm taking it on a smaller brush. This is just going to deepen things up some. Then I'm taking on a Whimsy. Guys, look at this color. I did not expect it to be this intense. I literally dipped in there like one time, and it is just so pigmented. So I went ahead and did a line straight down the middle of my eye. And then I went back and forth, um, left and right, to kind of blend that out. And I'm using this really, really tiny little brush because I feel like I have more control when I do this. Then I'm taking a little bit of island hopping and I'm applying that right on top, but only like straight down the middle. And what I decided to do was kind of bring it up a little higher past the eyeshadow, kind of like on my brow bone to create like this really cool like lightning type of a look. I don't know. I just thought it looked cool. Then I'm taking a little bit of Night Dream and I'm applying that onto my um, upper lash line and this is going to be our eyeliner for today this color super intense super pretty then i'm taking a little bit of the big three applying that into the inner corner and look at how gorgeous this look is guys like these colors are just so stunning together i did not expect this look to come out like this at all honestly i was kind of just winging it as i was doing it but i really love how it came out taking the ardell 600s which are some of my favorite for whenever i do a halo eye and look at how beautiful this look is I think this one's my favorite for sure then the first one was my favorite and then the fifth and final look my eyes are hating me I had to redo my um concealer and also um conceal my eyes because they were so red I'm taking a little bit of the painters tape again and we are gonna do a nice smoked out like liner look so it's not perfect I didn't notice that until later on we're taking the Good As Gold, which is the um, Holiday Collection palette. Taking a little bit of State of Mind, which was a little bit too light for me. Um, I feel like it just blended in. And it's crazy because when I did this with like primer, it worked fine. But with concealer, it's like it's blending in. So I had to use a little bit of my bronzer to kind of deepen up my crease a little bit. And I'm mostly focusing that on the outer corner of the eye and not too much on the crease. Then I'm taking a little bit of Bold Rush. I'm taking on a Morphe M433, which is one of my favorites for applying anything on the outer corner. And this is where the tape was starting to like kind of roll up. So I had to keep pressing it down. So that's why I said painter tape is not a good thing for this. I just couldn't find my regular tape, um, my regular scotch tape. So this is what we had to work with. 
So again, just mostly focusing this on my outer corner of my eye, blending it a little bit into my crease, but not too much. And I really want to make sure that we're creating that nice wing shape, taking a little bit of Trooper, applying that right on top just for some added dimension. I feel like if I wouldn't have set my concealer, maybe you would have seen this a little bit more, but it was still really pretty. Taking a little bit of Let's Do It, which I know is their permanent black eyeshadow. And I went ahead and kind of created that wing. And then for some reason, I was trying to blend it like um, inwards towards my eye. But then for some reason, I ended up applying it a little bit into my crease. But you guys will see me trying to fix that later on. But that wasn't what I meant to do. It was not intentional. Here I am just trying to blend everything out and making a hot mess. But we will fix it. So then I took off the tape. I took a little bit of Digging You, applied that with my flat synthetic brush on my eyelid. And this color is absolutely gorgeous. I'm not a big gold eyeshadow lover, but this one is just so pretty. I feel like it's not obnoxious at all. Taking a little bit of Golden Touch and applying that right in the center. This is going to add a little more dimension to the eye. It's technically a pressed glitter, but it's so thin that it doesn't look like one. Then taking a little bit of a matte eyeliner, this is from Essence, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that onto my eye, but keep making sure that I don't connect it, because what we're going to do is take some of the Let's Do It and blend that in. And I'm taking this little tiny brush that actually came with a Dose of Colors palette, and I'm just kind of blending that all together to make sure that you can't see where the eyeshadow started and the eyeliner stopped like it all looks like it connects together then i'm just taking a little bit of that let's do it shade again and applying that onto my lower lash line a little bit of bold rush this is just going to connect everything and make it all look like it it's very seamless and effortless taking a little bit of 24k which is the super shock shadow and i had to really build it up because super shock shadows for some reason don't like my brushes it's better to apply them with your fingers. That's just how I see it. So I'm using that on my inner corner, using my favorite lashes from Lily Lashes in the style Gaia, which I feel like really completed the look and made it look super glam. Taking this lip combo, which I will link it down below for you guys because I can't remember what it is on top of my head. And this is the fifth and final look. I love how this look came out too. I think that it's super glam, super gorgeous. Perfect for the holidays. I can't believe we just did five looks. This is it. See you guys later. Bye.